Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. Now as many as you know I used to work as an engineer. I did it for 10 years and that involved commuting to work. It was one of the worst parts of my day. In fact I did a video fairly recently on City Skylines where I recreated my commute to work. At least how I remembered it anyway. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Long story short is basically I didn't enjoy commuting to work. That's why today we are going to be making the most fun commute ever. So if so started a new map you can see there's nice nice highways uh, then we have this junction and a ooh, a suspension bridge lovely and that leads us over to here where our citizens are gonna live so three lane motorway that is going to lead to a simple sort of city layout i guess right so we've got our road layout there we've tree lined this because we want people to be relatively happy here we're trying to make people happy overall so we'll just paint this up with the residential colors and then we really we mustn't forget these areas these often get forgetting in city layouts we need to we need to work these and that's it like that like that oh, yeah. and then we should see civilization is appearing out of the ground so this looks like a lovely area to live. The only thing that could possibly ruin these people's lives is if they have a horrible commute to work. But remember, that's not going to happen. We're going to make sure their commute to work is lovely. Now, where is work, you might ask? Well, if we head away from this area and we head over this way, way up high into the mountains, you'll see there is a commercial and development area going on. There's going to be industrial buildings, offices, factories, all the jobs you could possibly want. Want. The trouble is, we've got to commute from there. So first off, what I want to do, because there's loads of cars coming in, we know that nearly everyone here has a car already. So the first leg of the commute will be via road. Uh, before we get too far, I have noticed a few issues with... <laughs> with this area so i might just want to quickly plop the essentials down even if you ignore the stinking burning tip it's still a lovely place to live right leg one the highway now seeing as i pretty much designed highways on a daily basis for 10 years of my life oh it's so long now i know what makes a good highway and uh, basically what i learned is a good highway wants to be like a go-kart track people love racing so i'm going to build a road that allows them to do that so we're going to be using this the one-way highway with sound barriers now the sound barriers will also act as a safety mechanism meaning cars shouldn't go flying off however i have noticed visibility not the greatest so as you're coming around here if someone's broken down like on that bit of the road you will have no idea and probably crash into the back of them still this is racing racing is not safe so a good go-kart track it's got to have a nice figure of eight circuit i think that's like sort of classic but i don't just want to end us there because go-kart tracks typically they're not long enough everyone wants to keep going so behold the ultimate figure of eight track. I've stacked like 15 figure of eights on top of each other. That is going to be fun to race around. I tell you that. Uh, next up, good go-kart tracks. They always have like a, a long tunnel in them. Uh, people want to feel like they're racing around Monaco in the Grand Prix. Do a nice curve and then we should end up about there. Lovely. And then this is where a finish line is going to be located. So the racetrack will go straight through the arch and whoever gets through it first wins. Just to get rid of that Really annoying sign. I am just going to join this road up so that people can go visit this. They can go look at the finish line, cheer on their mates as they come along and stuff. But from here, this is where our second leg of our commute is going to be. Now, much like my commute, I used to go kart my way to a car park where I'd then board a train. So let's build a train station. Boosh. And ah, oh, that's got a car park. One that was probably designed by an architect looking at that but we've got our train line in and we are going to use this to get across the water but also to have a lot of fun now first things first i think the most fun thing you can do on a train is go across a massive bridge gonna be so cool i'm sure that's what everyone says <laughs> <laughs> it's not just nerdy engineers, right? Right? So I built a very quick golden gate. Wait, what? I built a very quick golden gate bridge that definitely doesn't disappear depending on what angle you look at it. And we're then going to do some train lines so that we come out of here. Then we end up on the golden gate, which apparently we are making bridge section. So we have truss bridge on top of suspension bridge, the ultimate in bridge building technology. So that is really going to cheer our people up. As they get a bit close to work now, they're getting a little bit eerie, a little bit twitchy. Like I could just be at home sat in my pants but it's okay because you've been distracted by a bridge and then next up we come to sort of like an open bit of land and what does any sensible developer do with an open bit of land they turn it into a theme park or even better a roller coaster 
better. So all roller coasters start with a hill lift chain. Now, unfortunately, you can see that the slope is too steep. However, if we turn our little birdie up there from a normal reality loving blue bird into a heavy metal physics defined bridge bird, yeah, then it means we can go way steeper and we can really start to get a roller coaster feel to this thing. Now, thankfully, I spent a lot of my childhood playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, so I know all about how to build a good roller coaster. So we do a hill chain up to there, and then we'll loop back nice steep hill down and a bit of a curve, and then we come back up. And then what we want to do here, we want to do a vertical loop, but we've got to make sure the top of it is lower than the top of our drop. Otherwise, our roller coaster won't make it around. So we've made a very nice looping track there. So we want to do a bit of a flap, and we want a couple of up and down sections and then around here we're going to do one of my favorite track parts we're going to do uh, an upwards helix so a helix is just like a curved track that has a bit of elevation on it as well so basically as we head round, we're going up all the time so i think that's enough of a helix i think we now just want to do a few linking turns that go up and down at the same time crossing over the track is good remember because as people coming down this slope having a little tunnel under there looks like oh no they're gonna hit our heads but no of course it's all roller coasters have been engineered to perfection just to give the illusion of being unsafe. If we come along here, we have an onboard photo so you can buy them at the end. That's extra profits for us roller coaster entrepreneurs. Yeah, we then end up back at the start, except this time we don't because remember we're, we're on a commute. It's a one way roller coaster. So we'll just carry on going this direction and then our train will end up here. However, we do actually we do need to get back. So I will just do a sneaky one way line over here. But this isn't part of the commute. That's just logistics. So we have a complete roller coaster track. So next up, this needs to be on a roadside. So that's fine. We'll plonk a road in like that. Uh, another car park designed by an architect. It looks fine. But then when you try and actually get into it, it's impossible. Now from this one, we're going to have a little, very little drive or even a walk. Walk, a walk along a tree lined road to this place. Now, this is a ferry depot because what we're going to do, we're going to be going from here across the water. There's no more bridges involved. We've got to get to work, and work is all the way up there. So, we've got to draw this with a ferry pathway. So, we're just going to go from there under these lovely, magnificent bridges, sort of to there, because uh, this is directly opposite where we actually go to work. So, what do we need in order to get a boat? from here up to work. Well, we're going to need a couple of things. Most of all, we're going to need a hell of a lot of landscaping. And this is probably where this is going to go wrong. But uh, what I want to do, I want to make like a bay that we can put a ferry depot in. So if I find the contour, that's sort of, yeah, maybe so that major one, if we right click like there, that set the level. And then if we go from like there-ish, we can sort of create a dam. So that finishes there like that lovely jubbly. And what I'm hoping to do is I've never actually done this before but i'm hoping to go into water select place water source and then in here i should be able to click and then i can drag up and down so if i drag down we should fill that up to water like that so if we look at this and then press play there we are we have made water and hopefully none should leak out assuming our damn calculations were correct oh balls <laughs> How did that happen? Well, actually, actually, no, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We've got, we got some runaway water, small little tidal wave heading down. But look, it has actually stopped. So what I'm going to do up here, we're going to shove our ferry stop in like that. And then we're just going to connect this up to our roads so that people can get to work. Although, oh, oh, there's a bit too much water. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> Who's in charge of this water level? There you go. It's going, it's going. So quickly draw a road sorted. Okay, so that's good. What isn't good, our place of work, it's screaming for employees don't worry they're on their way soon but first we've got to make sure it's fun for them and what's more fun than just going on a ship? Well, it's going on a damn water slide. So I think what I need to do, I need to, I need to delete this railway. I don't think it's, I don't think it's used for anything. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. But I think what I want to do, I want to head up to here where I can possibly do like a temporary pool. And then we're going to have a very steep water slide down to the ferry port. It's going to be super fun. Everyone's going to get splashed. Oh man, it's going to be, they're going to love it. So first off, we got to do some landscaping. So what I'm thinking, 
thinking is we create the pool up here first. So I think I want to end up probably at that level and just try and follow these contours. Right, I feel like this is going to be the perfect place to go down. So let's just bring this out that way. So next up, we want to use the slope terrain tool. We want to end up there, but start about there, I think. So if I go like that, I should be able to slope up. So this is sort of like a glorified what I did with the poop shoot in Engitopia. Right, then we want to go probably to there from down here and the same to like there probably. Right, so since this is flat up here, we should be able to say go to there, make the level that sort of level as long as it's wide enough for our boats to get past and then oh, well, down there could be carnage. This is where the water is going to flow down and that's where we're going to try and go up. So if we press play, you will see this huge dam we've built on this mountain. Yeah, it should start filling with water. I'm hope oh balls. I was about to say I'm hoping no water will come through the wall. <laughs> I mean, this one, this one settled down in the end. So perhaps this one up here will. Oh, yes, yes, I think it is. Are you joking? Someone subbed to me again. Why do people keep subbing to me when I'm trying to record? <laughs> Thank you for the sub, by the way. All right, so as you can see, this is filling up nicely, not leaking at all anymore, but we should have... Yes, we got a constant stream of water down here. And what I'm hoping is, as this runs down, it should be constant enough and wide enough that we can send our ferries up there. Uh, but while that's sorting itself out, we do need to do the actual fun bit of this, the water slide down. So if we hit pause, what I'm thinking, we do a slope up again and we end up, I think, just around here somewhere. So if I say slope, to there and hopefully i'm always a little step above the town and i can do the same on this side all right then all i need to do is cut the water out of there so there we go water is away <laughs> Whoa! Right, I tell you what, I feel like rapids aren't that much fun if you have to dodge through trees. So uh, let's just let's just delete all those trees. Boosh. All right, so I think that's good. All I need to worry about is whether this is now going to flood because there's excess water coming in. I don't know how water spawners work. They might sort of keep the level flush. Or will this excess water rise? It might be okay. Otherwise, we can just put like an overspill little channel in or something. But yeah, for now, let's go have a look along here. So that's got constant flow of water coming down. Down, all the way. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So this is the only dodgy bit. It gets a little bit patchy, but I think we might be okay. So head back into the ferry pathway tool. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go from here and we're gonna head up. We've just gotta we just gotta keep it in the running water so ferries can actually get up. And then we're doing the same down this end. <laughs> oh, that is fast rapid. So we end up down here and then boosh, we've made it. Next up, we've just gotta we just gotta connect a line together. So ferry line. I think we just want to go from this one up to this one. And then we just go back again to complete the line. All right, thanks to chat, I've learned to turn off the despawning of traffic, which should mean every car that we see will actually remain. So I'm hoping these guys, they want to go to work, right? So yeah, like down here, we got we got this guy parked there in his sedan. Oh, sorry, I said his. It's Holly Davis. Uh, she works at Frank's Fish Stick Factory. So if we click on that, whoa, it takes us all the way over here. So that is where they work. Um, so I guess the main question, question is, are they actually going to get to work? All right, come on, guys. Who wants to go on the go-kart track? Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got a car. we got a car. Where are you going? Where are you going? We're going left. Wait, no, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Oh, he just, he just exploded. He turned into a woman and a dog. Oh, is it because they can't get back from... Okay, I think it's because they can't get back from here. I've just realized. Let me just do a very simple way home for these guys. All right, there we go. One way road in. People can get back now. So they should all be flooding to work. <gasps> Someone's actually going to work. Someone's going to work. Yes, he's using the go-kart track. He's winning. Look at them go. The speed of it. Uh, they are currently winning because no one else has bothered to go to work. Fair enough. But if we look from above, we can clearly see how they're doing on the figure of it. Where the hell are they? Where have they gone? Wait, I, saw, I think I saw a car. I think I saw a car. Where was it? Down there? Oh, there, 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 there. So yeah, absolutely cheesing it through the go-kart track. I feel like I'm loving it more than they are. Though. <laughs> so this person... Oh, look, they're actually... Their job is an operator at the train station. Yeah, you can see they've avoided the pillar. They've come down there and then they're going into the Monaco F1 tunnel. Imagine the F1 noises as they're coming around this corner. And they've won. They've done it. What a way to start your commute to work. And oh, look, they've got out. Oh, they got a dog. It's taking a dog to work day. Oh, it's like every day with me and Paddy. <laughs> 
<laughs> he always comes to work with me. Oh, look. Wait, no, that's not a dog. That's a giant cat. Why is your cat so big? Why did you take it to work with you? That's weird. Anyway, the good news is there are actually loads of people. Oh my goodness. There's loads of people using it now. I think we just had to wait for that one person to get to work because they were the train driver. So of course we need a train driver before we can actually drive the train. Now, oh, look, some people... <laughs> some people have done the journey on foot. They've got their luggage. And oh, they've just got they just got back in a car. How ran? They wanted to... I know what they wanted to do. They wanted to look cool. They wanted to cross the finish line while walking. Like, yeah, we did it walking and we still came in the top three. So when people get to the finish line, like run backwards because they think they're hard. Anyway, yeah, lots and lots of traffic on its way to work. Oh, they actually, they look like they're having a blast. I'm not going to lie to you. So they're all coming through now. There's... <laughs> There's lots of people getting out of their cars and then getting in their cars after they've gone through the loop. Don't really understand that. What are you? It's still tourists, isn't it? Oh, that person just fell through the road. Oh, look, some people are falling through. Anyway, everyone's sort of turning up now. So I presume, is there a train going to appear? Wait, what's happening? Why are you all going up there? Oh, they've all gone to go cheer their friends on. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Uh, sadly, though, no one wanted to get onto the train. They've literally all just come to this place. I mean, to be fair, it's got a banging view. Like, you've got the arch above you. You've got the finish line of the go-karts. And then looking out there, you've got the golden gate. You've got the roller coaster train. Yeah, maybe they're just, like, looking at it like, oh, I can't wait to go on that. Right, so... <laughs> So I couldn't get this to work. Um, so I asked my buddy Biffa, City Skylines Pro. I asked him, any chance you could uh, you could have a little look for me? And I just sent my save file to him. And he just replied, <laughs> if you don't hear from me again, you know I couldn't take it. Uh, he's a very sensible city builder. He doesn't really believe in um, roller coaster commutes. <laughs> But yeah, shout out Biffa. What a legend. What a legend. Right, so he's only gone and done it. That Biffa, he's not just a pretty face. I mean, I won't lie. This isn't the best looking loop in the world. It does actually work now. So if we head towards the bridge, we have our first train heading along the Golden Gate. People thought this would never happen. Oh my God, it's going so fast. It's going so fast. It's heading up the chain lift. You're meant to go slower up the chain lift. Oh, look at this. I can make this behave like a roller coaster. I can set speed limits. So yeah, we want it to be going slow around here. And then as it goes down the drop, <laughs> it's going to get faster and faster. So here we are following the train. <laughs> Look at the roller coaster beneath. So everybody on board, please raise your hands as we head down the first hill because there will be a photo taken at the bottom. So ready for this? We're heading down the hill. Oh, is the... I think we're stuck from the back of it. The train's too long. This is meant to be like max speed. It's moving more like a slug than a snake. Anyway, all right, here we go. We're off. We're off. Get some speed. Do the loop. It's doing the loop. <laughs> it's so terrible. No, they're having fun. They're definitely having fun. They're upside down right now. Just ignore that they're not upside down. They're doing a loop. All right, so we've just done the loop. We're then heading up the next slope. So this should slow us down. So we're going quite fast. We want to slow down. So this section, we're like, we're sort of like, oh, man, that loop was insane. We need to relax a bit. We need to relax. Oh, no, we can't relax because there's a load of hills coming. They're going to be insane. Look how fast we're going. <laughs> Maybe if I play this back at like three times speed, it might look better. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we needed. Three times speed. That's better. So now we're entering the helix. And then as we sort of wrap around here, uh, we should we should lose some speed. We'll get slower and slower as we reach to the top. Uh, very exciting, but a very uh, sort, of, sort of like it starts off exciting. And like, oh, actually, this ain't so bad. I'm not going to die. So then we head along this bit under there. as another train's coming down. That's cool wrap around this way as a train comes down there as well gotta love overlapping tracks and then finally a slow finish to the end where we've completed our roller coaster section oh man that was actually really cool i'd love to have that on the way to work anyway after that excitement we then pull into the station where our passengers can get off and then head onto the boat port down here so ferries leave here they head under the bridge which disappears occasionally round the rocks and then they head up the chute. So question is, are they actually getting up here? Okay, I don't see any further up ahead. Oh no, there's one, there's one. So this guy around the corner, fighting his way through all the trees. Fair play, that's... <laughs> Look at him go. And are there any further up? Oh, there is, there is. Look, so one's got to here. And now he's going down the fun bit, the rapids. Oh, look at him go, look at him go. Oh, he's he's not... Well, yeah, he's not moving as, um, as rapidly as I thought, I guess is the right saying. I, I might just want to give that a little bit of softening. So if I just... There we go, there we go. We just sent some water down that side. Oh, there's a boat coming behind. There's a boat coming behind. 
Run! Oh, dear. <laughs> right, so my thinking, if I make a bit of a channel down here, then the water should sit in the middle. Right, so we've sort of done it. The... <laughs> it's not quite the super fun water slide that I envisaged, but... um. Hopefully, they can get back up. And then we have actually achieved. Yes, go on, son. Go on, son. Right, he's made it back. He's made it back. <laughs> okay, I think we've completed it. I think we've made a usable water slide. Look how much fun he's having going to work. Whoa. So that was our incredible commute to work. Perhaps if my commute was this fun, maybe I would have stayed an engineer, never made a YouTube channel. Who knows? All I do know is that was awesome. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this was. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and water slides. Bye, guys!